some much needed rain in our area yesterday, helping just a little bit with drought conditions. But a local climate researcher says recent weather patterns are concerning. Kristen Burnell joins us live this morning with the story. Good morning, Kristen. Well, good morning, Joe and Kate. Over the past month or so, we've been dealing with a lack of rain and some very dry conditions. And throughout the year, we've even seen some tornadoes, flooding, and extreme heat. Now, climate experts say that this is all due to climate change. 12 News spoke with Kim Cobb, a climate scientist with Brown University. She tells us this is all caused by a warming planet, and we've seen the effects play out over the past month. That includes everything from the drought conditions leading to brush fires, scorching hundreds of acres of land, New England. Cobb says it's also something that's been predicted by those studying the changing climate. This is something that we see in the science of climate change as emerging with warmer temperatures. And uh, of course, that's going to be punctuated by extreme rainfall on the other hand. And so we see this whiplashing across these extreme events. And this in particular is just a reminder of how ill prepared we are for our climate of now, let alone our climate of future. And we need to begin thinking about in Rhode Island, the ocean state, not just having too much water, which is so often the problem associated with climate climate change, but what happens when you have too little water. And she adds it's essential to prepare for any future potential weather extremes, and that includes cities and, plan, cities and towns making plans for conserving water in a drought. Reporting live this morning, Kristen Burnell, 12 News.